Good afternoon, guys. Matt here along with Jenny Gale and the rest of the gang at OC Coasters and Theme Parks. And we're here at Castle Park, June 10th, 2023, for Log Ride Opening Day. And uh, already seeing some nice new uh, woodwork here. Although it doesn't look sanded yet, so I'd watch out for splinters. But very nice. Rock on. All right, guys, we're here. So let's see... What kind of adventures await us today at uh, another uh, evening at the castle at Castle Park? Thank you. Thank you. All right. Hmm, I'm not hearing any splish splash and I'm not hearing any any water running. That's suspicious. All right, guys, otherwise we're here at Castle Park and let's have a great evening. We are gonna hang out, go on some rides and have fun. And probably get some dinner. All right, so say hi. All right, everybody saying hi here from the OC Coasters theme parks crew. Yeah, I'm not hearing any splish splash or any, ah! Or, or any running water, so I am suspicious, but we'll, we'll find out the story on that later. We'll at least walk over there and check out the new area. Do you want to get something to drink? Yes. I see Big Owls is open. Is it called Big? Oh, Big Top. Big Top Owls? What's this called? I think it's Owls Big Top. Well, yeah, but we're... I we're, we're, uh, just wanted to... They do pizzas, too. But this place is so cool and so cute. Uh, the slices are, are that way, I think. Or actually, it's the personal pan. But I wanted to show you the restaurant. Mom, look, they have props from like 100 years of circus stuff up here. Old chandeliers. And at different times, they have a magic show here. They have a guy named Anthony the Magic that performs here. We still haven't caught that show yet. Yeah, these all were around circuses, carousels, fairs, possibly a carnival. But yeah. I love the chandeliers and the artwork in here. All right, guys, we're going to see what they got served up at Owl's. It is so nice to see Castle Park. I need to make sure my medicine kicked in to do the... I know. The games are classic here. We got ring toss, we got the wiffle ball, and everything. Well, let's go do the train. Yeah, it's doing its round right now. The gorgeous carousel here. Yeah, guys, Castle Park, don't sleep on this park. Um, what a nice place. And now there's, we're in peak operation. Um, I will show you guys a little bit, but both coasters are open today. The drop tower is open in the background, and both coasters are operational here at Castle Park. Got the sea dragon over here. Then we have Duke, the more friendly dragon, over there. And uh, yeah. Golf in the background. And let's go hop on the train. We're going to start the day. Well, it's not really the day. We're going to. We already started the day with a delicious meal at Al's Big Top Barbecue. No footage of that, guys. We just scarfed it down. But uh, we each got a little hot dog and we shared a chicken strip um, basket. So the hot dogs were decent. I'd give them, you know, backyard family hot dog. I'd give it three out of five stars. Chicken strips, I'd give, I'd, I'd go three and a half to four stars out of five on those chicken strips. They were pretty decent. Fries reminded me of Six Flags fries. Yeah, that'll be either here or inside the, um, inside the arcade. That's a good idea. If you guys get the Royal Combo, you get a popcorn bucket as well as a drink cup, a souvenir drink cup, a color of your choice. So, yeah. And refills are $1.50 per popcorn or drink. So you can't beat that here at Castle Park. You'll get the kind of little mini Fiesta Village kind of vibe here. And like I said, guys, might as well call this Castle Park Mini Knots, because I love this place. All right, hang tight. Beware of the Sea Dragon, guys. For its unsuspecting uh, passengers boarding that ship, this vessel can carry a bit of a bite. 
No, Sea Dragon's awesome. I always gotta ride to the right side though for whatever reason. All right, next turn in line, and there's no line. Bum, 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 bum. Time to fill up our popcorn. I will say, guys, in that tiny oven, they make some pretty tasty pizzas. I will say. So we got a strawberry margarita. No, just kidding. We got a strawberry lemonade icy here that we're going to enjoy. Well, that looks nice. Nice color on that. And we are also getting a popcorn. So yeah, the World Combo is great value, and refills are only $1.50. And we have our Halloween edition bucket, although we haven't been to a Castle Dark yet. Thank you. We ended up with the uh, glow in the dark bucket. And yes, guys, this does actually glow in the dark, believe it or not. Sometimes this bucket creeps me out in my room at night when I come in at night and I see this green glowing bucket. I was kidding. I mean, half kidding. It does actually glow. But... All right, guys. Back to the plan. Let's hop on the train. All right. And even better news, they're... Let's see if we can get on this train in time. If not, we'll go to the little one because looks like they're running both trains today. That's awesome. Because believe it or not, they're different experiences. So we do prefer to, to ride both trains when we can. Hi. They might have a spot for us. Operations here, services, everything. Castle Park always does a great job. Absolutely. A lot of history in that train. All right. The Duke says hop on. Thank you. Oh, the one with the door open, Mom. Perfect, right here. We'll hop on our vintage uh, car. All right. Built a world over there. Boy, the Tilt-A-Whirl is whirling. Look at that guy go. I think it's not the same one that used to be at Knott's, but Knott's Berry Farm had a Tilt-A-Whirl on their boardwalk. So, good question. So if anyone's wondering, you slightly, almost like you're going for a pair of chopsticks or you're picking up a raisin or a grape, you grab the phone and then slightly move your fingers like this, essentially to zoom in, you're... You're trying to, to make a almost like a like a like that motion, but you're going up. So here we're looking at the the right operator for the tilt to whirl, and as I come out more, I'm pinching out to get smaller. And then here we are on the train and Buccaneer Cove already closed for the day, but I, I bet that was a lot of fun. But they're now open on weekends and Wednesday through Sunday, I believe, select hours, Buccaneer Cove is open, along with Castle Ride Park. I believe they're uh, 12 to 6, Wednesday, Thursday, and they are uh, 12 to 10, Friday, Saturday, and 12 to 9, Sunday, the Ride Park. So it's a great time to come to Castle Park and uh, ride on some classic rides. So hang tight, guys. We're going to enjoy a spin on the train. My goodness, I think we're going to have a UFO sighting on this train. The Duke's flying UFO. Because you certainly feel abducted on that thing. Hello, everyone. Classic theming. That's from Knott's Berry Farm from the Soapbox Racers. That yeah. wooden cutout of the, the yeah. bear as a police officer. <laughs> Trying to whistle at you to slow down. Yeah. You'll see another one coming up. Yeah, they're from the Soapbox Racers. So, yeah, guys, on the Castle Park Railroad. Enjoying a gorgeous evening here. And we're gonna see what's going on with the log ride. Haven't heard it make a big splash like, like I was expecting it to. We have someone selling bubbles waving or bubble makers, whatever they are. Here we have some of the classic uh, kids rides. Look, they got a they got a Liberty Bell. Just like the one they made the model of for nuts. Here we have the other side of the front half of the park here, with Castle Park Air. Yeah, this place at night is a whole different experience, guys. And wow. Yeah, I don't see any logs going, so that makes me wonder. As we reported before, the Little Dipper is gone. 
I've been operating in five, six years, so. Huh. That looks awful dry. Don't think there's any water in there today. Very interesting. All right, so we're going to have to talk to some staff and figure out what happened with the long ride. It's supposed to be opening today, and we'll give you guys the full report here. They look ready. It's all painted. It's all been redone. It's like a slow okay. gondola. It's a it's an observation wheel. You'd actually like that. It's, it's slower than the carousel, believe it or not. Yeah. Just to give you a better view, it just does, it does a slow, kind of like the pumpkin patch at California's Great America. See how everybody's favorite antique cars are doing today. Talking about things we used to do at Knott's. We used to do this at Knott's. Yeah. Two versions of it. There was this and then there was Gasoline Alley as well. Oh, he's racing us. They're going to win the race. Oh, they're totally winning. Making a pass for the lead here. We got a duel. Not a twisted Colossus duel, but we got a Castle Park Railroad anti car ride duel right there on this Helix to finish off the train. That's the splash pad for the water park. That'll be opening pretty soon. Select days, yeah, it might be open Wednesday to Sunday. Very minimal hours on the weekdays, but. It was open today because it's still. Oh, hang tight. One more, you can do it. All right. And we, ha and we have break. And now it's time to go on the little, the little Castle Park Mini Trail Ride train ride. That was a lot of fun. But yeah, those brakes need a little grease or oil or something. <laughs> That was a slightly uh, dram dramatic break. That's the best part, guys. The dramatic break at the end. Wasn't rough, just unexpected. All right. So let's catch you guys. We're going to get in line for the little guy. Not the little dipper, the little Castle Park train. Riverside Express. I like this train. Little train detail I just noticed, guys. They actually have a handicap accessible train car. So if you're in a situation where a member of your party or yourself uses a wheelchair then they still have a car that you can ride and experience the train with everybody there's a bench here as well i will say that it is fairly accessible as long as you can do with uh one two two steps but um i would say it's fairly accessible for all ages even if you have limited mobility, you should be able to make a trip to Castle Park and enjoy the train, along with a good handful of attractions here, well worth your your day your day's admission. Um, this little train is gonna go through some different areas of theming, and this bear right here, I shouldn't be on the tracks, but I know the train left. This bear is also from the Soapbox Racers, once ago at Knott's, once upon a time ago at Knott's, and they're already over there at the train, waving to me. Say hi, guys. Say hi to the people on YouTube. Hello there, everybody. They're saying hello. And here we go. Duke is saying hello on the train. And uh, we're ready. Ready for the... And I love this side of the park at night. Nice and quiet. We got the tilt-a-whirl. We got the classic antique cars. And so much nostalgia over here. This part of the park is just so beautiful, guys. So treat yourselves. If you haven't spent some time at Castle Park, especially on the antique cars, classic feel to it. It's like a Disney dark ride mixed with um, 
just a classic antique car ride. Now, I wouldn't say there's a dark ride a theming, but there is some really nice outdoor aesthetic theming here that will probably take you on a ride on this later in the video. But right now, we are gonna hop, skip, and jump on the Riverside Express as soon as it expresses its way back to the front of the station. Okay. I'm excited we're gonna go through the tunnel now. But yeah, this used to be the Rainbow Caverns train, mine train at Disneyland. At least that one car right there is from the Rainbow Caverns mine train. And we got a car from Universal Studios here. Don't know the story on that if there ever was a mine train ride at Universal Studios. So, that is a great question. What's going on with that car? Where did they get that from? Or is it from a different Universal Studios? Of course, we know the Knott's car. Um, of course. But yeah. Oh, I see they do load it. Good question. Do we load? I think. Okay. That would make sense. So, yeah, we're going to load over here. A little bit of mine theming here. And, uh, yeah. Might be up for a tilt a whirl ourselves. Sweet. All right. Castle Park Mini Railroad. So do we want the Knott's Berry Farm car? Do we want the, oh wait, wait for him to let us in. Want the Knott's car? Do we want the Universal car? Or do we want the, uh, the Disney car? Well, yeah, that, that car, um, used for lots of things. It's pretty cool. We're on the train, we made it. Oh, I love those. Super feet are the best. Um, I put them in about a month ago. All right. We are on the Castle Park Miniature Railroad. Wow. Yeah, they did add theming in here, guys. Good job, Castle Park. I like it. It does give you the Calico vibe, huh? There's the Omnibus Sky Rider. There's another bear. Those are from the Soapbox Racers. All those wooden cutouts. That guy too. We have the Liberty Bell. A uh, replica of the one at Liberty Hall. At Knott's Berry Farm. We got uh, Wizards Express, Merlin's Express going on there. I'm still familiarizing myself with the terminology here. Yeah, this is a vintage 1970, vintage early 1980s era lock flume. Um, it's essentially the same ride in the Knott's Berry Farm log ride with a few variations, but outside with its own awesome theming and a steeper drop. Happen to know this is the steepest log ride drop in California, at least it was, and uh, it was 60 feet, 60 foot drop. I have heard rumors they re they reprofiled the drop. I have heard rumors they reprofiled the drop, but yeah, not much information. Very quiet in its absence. The elephant in the room is the Castle Park log ride. Which is honestly what we got through our work and our rehearsal as early as possible. 
Yeah, we got through our band practice, work everything out of the way early as we could to make it for the grand opening of the log ride. So, having a great night nevertheless, though. Matt here, OC Coasters and Theme Parks, on the Riverside Express at the gorgeous Castle Park. And uh, why don't you hang out with us? We're going to continue this journey through the park. And yeah, if some of the rock work looks familiar here, if some of the design of any of the architecture, the uh, Bud Hurlbert, founder of this park, helped design Fiesta Village in 19, that released in 71 in Knott's, and helped uh, design Camp Snoopy. So you're, you're gonna see a lot of that similar style vibe here at Castle Park, and I love it. Probably the best kept hidden secret Amusement Park Secret in California, guys. It's the best hidden gem theme park, I think. That's just my preference. It's my technical home park. Technically the closest park to me I call home, but that's another debate for another day if it's Knott's or Disney, my home park. All right, guys, so we did the train, and let's see what's next. But, all right, guys, we did the train, and let's see what's next. I think we're gonna go possibly on an antique the antique cars so my first inquiry no update on the log ride but we're gonna keep uh, pondering here until we get some answers what's going on here inside OC coasters and theme park scoop on this beautiful Saturday night they're doing good so we're gonna go do the tilt-a-whirl Turns out uh, the antique cars needs about 10 minutes to reboot the computer, they were saying. If it has a computer or, you know, whatever it has, it's an old ride. So it'll be back open in 10 minutes. Yeah, I think we'll, you know, what the heck? The line doesn't look too bad. We're gonna go do the tilt a whirl. Okay. I'm gonna sit right okay. Okay, that sounds good. We'll leave you the popcorn. See how I, I do, guys. I do these once in a while. I know the lower you put the bar, the faster you spin. The higher you lift up the bar on the ride. Don't worry, the ride isn't breaking on you. It actually works as a brake, so. A lot of people don't know that. So the ones with the bar all the way down, you'll see they spin the most. Boy, that sounds like that came out of one of those speakers that looks like a cone. You know, from like the 1900s, one of those like old like 78 record players welcome to welcome to granny's well welcome to granny's uh til, granny's tilt a whirl don't forget to keep your hands inside and leave your purses on the outside no i know this would not be good for granny's i'm just joking the the record the speaker sounded old it's like welcome to granny's tilt a whirl <laughs> it just sounds old all right we'll be back wish us luck Whew. Oh, excuse me, pardon me. Well, here we are. About to get our wheel, our wheel tilted because here, help. let's get that down. It is. Whirlpool, Tilt-A-Whirl, Spinning Wheel. It has a lot of names. We'll see how I do, guys. I don't know about this one. It's going to be fun. Mom decided to sit this one out, but that was okay. Probably a good call for her in this case. Um, she does like carousels, but she's not a fan of uh, intense spins. So hopefully they get that little antique cars up and running because that's a lot of fun. All right. Perfect. Thank you. Safety first here, of course, a priority at Castle Park. And uh, looking forward to uh, not only the tilt a whirl, but the rest of the night here. So you guys uh, enjoy.
I heard my mom used to be a hot rodder back in her day, and I can, I see it, I see it now. All right, rock and roll. Want me to go? You go ahead. Ladies first. All right. All right. Grandma told me she had a lead foot and she drove fast when she was a teenager. All right, mom, slow down. Here comes the brakes. No, just kidding. My mom taught me how to drive, and I'm still alive because of her. Good job, mom. All right. Yep, you did a good job, and now Jenny is off. Off on her adventure. My goodness. We decided for comfort we'd all go separate cars, hi Jenny. All right. How was it, Mom? That's a smoother car, huh? It makes better turns, too. Yeah, definitely the yellow one, I think, is the roughest. Yeah. They're kind of supposed to be like Model Ts, almost. Thank you. All right. Time to rock. Thank you. Now, I feel like Houdini, if you're a big guy, the trick is you get one leg in, just slide under, and ba bam. I could win a $5 bet with someone I'd bid on this, so I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Thank you. Maybe a $10 bet. All right, guys. Matt from OC Coasters and Theme Parks, and you saw my trick if you're tall, and here we are, and we're on the NT cars. Rock and roll. We, go. we might even catch up to Jenny. I think we're gonna race. No, just kidding. But gosh, what a night, guys. Great night to be alive and to experience it at Castle Park here in the beautiful Riverside, California. I should say the beautiful Castle Park as well. Yeah, Bud Herbert helped design this. Essentially, this opened with Fiesta Village in 1971 as the Tijuana Taxis. And then, over time, I rode this up to the age of four or five years old. And in 1987, 1988, it actually found its new home and was reassembled here at Castle Park. Hello. Hopefully a fellow, or a, hopefully a new subscriber to OC Coasters and Theme Parks. All right. So yeah, guys, the log ride's not open today, but it's got to be opening any day now. They had finished the paint, and everything was just looking fantastic. So I see Jenny finishing up her course. Oh, she's already finished, so I lost the race. Here we go over the Bridge of Destiny. Oh, yeah, guys, what a fun ride. And don't forget to say hello to the Tin Man, the theming. Here's the Tin Man right here. Oh, the Tin Man's taking a nap. He's having a tin nap. So, yeah, guys, Matt here from OC Coasters and Theme Parks. And what a blast. You know, the break at the end is a teeny bit rough. I will say hold on for that last break. But otherwise, what a blast here. It's like a cross between a classic antique car ride. And it has dark ride feel, too, so... Thank you. I am back on my journey, guys. So we'll catch you on the next one. All right, guys. It was so much fun. We had to go on a second ride. And Jenny is our driver, our guest driver today. Hello, Jenny. All right. Careful around this turn. Okay, that's a big rock. Oh, my God. Okay, thank goodness. All right, what's next? Yeah, guys, really like the theming over here. And, uh... Yeah, the Tin Man's totally taking a nap in his, in his car. Kind of a little bit of a rock work. The chains. It's got the rugged kind of mine feel to it. Very cool. It's almost like they could have put a miniature golf course around this ride. It's like four. You're like ducking for golf balls on the turn. But yeah, guys. It's a lot of fun. Oh. We had, a, we had another friend trying to wave at us. There we go. And, yeah, nice turn here. And you'll see the Tin Man taking a nap on the right. The old, uh, you know, welling stuff on the left. And, yeah, what a classic day, classic vibe here at the park, at Castle Park. So... All right, guys, and a lot of fun we're having here tonight. I think it's time to go check out the Sky Ride, or perhaps the Sky Ride or one of the other rides here at Castle Park. All right, 
And yeah, guys, a lot of fun this is the antique car ride. A classic Knott's attraction that left Knott's, but it came here. Hey, Mom. So you enjoyed your ride? Yeah. All right, yeah. That's right. So um, the building that looks like the Fiesta Village theme in your nearest restroom is right here. Right across the train tracks. Sure. Okay. And then we were thinking of uh, going to do the sky ride and then uh, the carousel. Oh. Thank you. That's okay. Yeah, some spin, some don't. Depends on what side of the vehicle you sit on, guys. But again, oh no. I've gotten my tilt to world stamina up. Oh yeah. Well, you know what? You know, you learn your body, you learn your limits, and you learn what you need to do to do the things you love to do. So, yeah. soapbox racers theming here again as we cross the train tracks. The train tracks of destiny here at Castle Park and the Castle Park Railroad. One of the highlights here, guys, is they have a gorgeous, gorgeous, ancient, ancient antique Ferris wheel. I need, I need to track down mom. Oh, hi mom, there you are up here. Oh, big step. All right, your bunny rabbits, panthers, and everything in between, and your kitty cats, because we are on the carousel. The ancient, ancient carousel, which used to have the put the ring on the thing, spin the wheel of fortune thing, the antique band, yeah, the antique band. All right. This might be my favorite carousel once I get on it. All right. All right, and everybody here. And what a beautiful night here, guys. Again, Castle Park, we're having a blast here. So. So we're going to catch you guys after this ride, and uh, we'll see what's next. So we still got a few more fun surprises in store tonight. This cat's like, bro, I'm eating lunch. I don't even want to give you a ride right now. Well, he didn't have a choice. I needed a cat to ride, so here I am. Wow, guys, on the note of carousels, I just found out the carousel from Neverland Ranch, which was Michael Jackson's property out in Santa Barbara, is at Adventure City in Anaheim. Who knew? You too, buddy. Have a great night. Wow, guys, and again, we'll do a vote online. What do you think? I'm, we're guessing this is more than 100 years old. I guess the 1930s myself, some of the carvings and the aesthetics, but your guess is as good as mine. Boy, this is a great carousel. We'll see the, yeah, we got a Prancer over here. I think he agrees. But yeah, guys, found out from another um, fellow carousel enthusiast that, wow, beautiful, beautiful Neverland Ranch carousel is at Adventure City. So plug for Adventure City. Not planning to go there yet. I will go eventually for Rewind Racers. I have the parking lot coaster credit. So Buena Park. I have the kitty coaster credit. I don't have the rerun racers credit yet. I will, but you know, we'll wait till the opportunity comes to go. But anyway, guys, great ride in the carousel, and time to see. There's Merlin. We had to say hello to our friend Merlin the Wizard, guys. Hang on tight. Uh, there's no way I was taping on the end of that. That got too crazy, guys. Merlin is a powerful wizard. That was a lot of fun. Some Matt here, OC Coasters. And you hang on while I try to figure out how the heck I'm going to get out of this thing. I'm going to do a little shimmy shammy and wiggle my way out here. So you guys hang tight, and we'll see if we have time for one more ride. Oh, we're going old school. 
Rock on. Cool, cool, cool. All right, can you pull that up for me, Jim? And then grab the phone. All right. Yeah, I got some tall people tricks for this thing. <laughs> well. All right, thank you guys. Thank you. Surround and watch your step. Right? Uh, watch your step. We'll do a little magic over here. All right. Have a good night. That fireball is just blazing in flames right here, guys. You just hear that thing tearing up. It's just tearing some A. The graviton eliminating gravity as it goes. There's our new fins. And don't forget, guys, OC coasters and theme parks. And we'll see you soon from this vlog. Right on. All right. And now we're going to go see what we have time for left on this day here. This grand adventure and evening at the castle, Castle Park. And the DJ's rocking in the club. All right, we had a little debate between Ghost Blasters and Screaming Demon for the last ride of the night. And uh, that coaster got my, my coaster enthusiasm flowing, so. Oh, that's back to the Merlins. And we're going to go over to the Screaming Demon. Yeah, guys, in our next adventure to Castle Park, we're going to blast lots of, go lots of ghosts. And let me tell you, I always get the defective blaster. Jenny and my mom, whoever I ride with, they always kick my butt good. Nice vibe of the, of the log ride. And we got Castle Park Air. About to make a landing here in Riverside. Hi. Yeah, we're going to go ride the other roller coaster here. Am I excited? We might get two rides, we might get run ride, but I love this ride. And uh, I am so glad to have this here at Castle Park. To be able to get two coaster credits in the same day, and I'm not at a major theme park, I'm, you know, 30, 40 minutes from home. It is such a wonderful thing, guys. I am so excited. So we are next on the Screaming Demon, and I can't wait. Ma'am? Ma'am, are you in line? Yes. All right. Confirming that they just closed off the line, so this will be our, uh, this will be our classic uh, last ride of the night, and uh, looking forward to it. I certainly wouldn't end my night on Fireball unless I want to be puking up like I drank Fireball all night, and I'm not, you know, the craziest drinkers. Ah, uh, two. All right, thank you very much. All right, guys, let's do it. And you heard the man, so we will catch you guys after the ride. This gal that works here on the Screaming Demon tonight, and apparently when they advertise the log ride to open on June 10th, they might have meant to generalize it as in the summer when it warms up. We are having a little June gloom, and I guess it, uh, most likely, oh, excuse me, sorry. I guess there could be some um, rain coming up in the next couple of days. So that could definitely be hindering the opening date. I know it's scheduled to rain tomorrow, which is Monday. Uh, but I l love the headlights, which I don't believe we're running before that they added to the cars, at least to the yellow car. And you know, the brake isn't always that dramatic, but it can be. But yeah, guys, so the log ride, it's gonna open this summer when it warms up. See that dragon? I'm kind of like, that's how I feel, the log ride's not open. Arr. You know what? It's okay. What a great night here, great family evening, and uh, you know, they're firing on almost all cylinders. We rode two coaster credits in the same day at Castle Park. They got the Sea Dragon open, the Dragon Flyers. We got the antique cars. We got both trains open in the same day. That rarely happens. So maybe it's staffing. We got the carousel open. Five, technically, if you want to count that as a coaster credit, 
Uh, I still haven't gotten the balls for fireball yet. I'm going to work my way up to that eventually. I don't have any more fireball uh, puns. I used the ones I had. But yeah, great day here at Castle Park and uh, nice evening as well. So, thinking we're going to save the golf for next time. And uh, I'm going to take a walk over by the log ride so we can uh, end the night uh, appreciating all the work they've done to it. Hi, Mom. We're back, and we rode the Screaming Demon. Had a lot of fun. That was the last uh, ride of the night. But that was a lot of fun. Um, I, I'm going to take a quick walk over by the log ride. Apparently, it's saying June 10th was an accident on the post. They meant to say sometime in June. And uh, a few of us who pay attention to details are, are holding them to it. It did not open on June 10th. But we are still going to call this the log ride grand opening video. Did it open? Question mark. And the answer is, guys, not yet, but it is going to open later this summer, I was told, and expected to be open within the next month by 4th of July weekend. Let's go take a closer look at the work they did before we wrap it up and get kicked out. No, just kidding. They actually send you over to golf or they send you out the exit, but all right. What a classic, guys. The classic arrow that I have not got to experience yet. You guys know I'm a aero aficionado and here we have once we get to it a classic aero log flume now they removed uh, log jammer they removed log jammer a little while ago from six flags magic mountain when they went ahead and they added full throttle they removed log jammer so basically which reduced six flags magic mountain to just jet stream as their one original aero log flume. But once this is back open, we will have at major theme parks, County Castle Park, we're going to have three or four log flumes here. So, pardon me. I would just asked if I could take a little picture of the log ride real quick. Because I have a YouTube channel and it was supposed to open and it didn't, so I'm just making a video about the update. So people can hopefully come here in hordes when it opens. You know, trying to help you guys make a boatload of money and then get a big double looping roller coaster or something. You know, as the, and help you guys get raises. 100%. So, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Right on, right? Oh, they could put it around the castle. You know what I mean? Have the entrance somewhere up there. Oh, yeah. It would be, it would be awesome. So, nice staff that work here. It's going to be a little dark. We're giving you a little uh, Krampus. A little castle dark here early but yeah guys matt and jenny and my mom here well actually mom's ready to go to the car but we all were here had a great day and the log ride is here but it didn't open why well that's okay but mainly it just needs a little more time guys it might be a little shy you know but that's going to be a 60 foot drop that's going to be the tallest log flume drop in all of california and they reprofiled the drop they really didn't change the angle at all all they did was put in a couple of new pieces towards the bottom here which I'll have to show you in a, in a future video I know they got the uh, wagon west kind of western word ho theme music going with it and um, but yeah guys this isn't a Halloween video this is just the end of the night here and the log ride didn't open but we still had a great time and it's supposed to open it's a, it was supposed to open and that got us here so I'm grateful that we had a great day at Castle Park and I'm grateful that you guys joined us for the ride here Matt from OC Coasters and Theme Parks and you guys have a great night and stay tuned. I will let you know as soon as the log ride opens. You know, uh, June 10th didn't work out, but now we're looking at hopefully 4th of July weekend, fingers crossed, and you guys will be able to ride a brand new log flume here in Riverside, California. So until the next time, guys, take care. Hope you enjoyed your adventure at the castle here, and uh, we'll see you next time. Good night.